Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel once again. Once again, uh, my name is Thompson, and uh, today I'm going to show you how you can transfer your money from OKS to your Nigerian bank account. Now, when I say transfer your money, I mean um, if possibly you have like any of the crypto in your OKS wallet, it could be uh, BNB, USDT, BTC, okay, uh, whichever the denomination you have in your OKS wallet and you want to get Naira in return paid into your bank account um, I'm going to take you through the process now what we're going to do is this we're going to be using USDT as a case study here because I have some USDT here okay I have some USDT here which I'll be using as a case study here now um, the truth of the matter is this you cannot directly withdraw your money from OKS into your bank accounts. Why? Because the federal government of Nigeria has banned uh, the uh, use of crypto in Nigeria. So what you do is this. Um, we're going to give somebody that needs your crypto. Um, you're going to give your crypto to somebody that needs it. And that person is going to credit your bank account directly. Okay, so that is how the process is. The crypto that you have here, the USDT that we have here, we are going to give it to somebody that needs USDT and that person is going to credit our account, Nigerian bank account, with Naira. So don't worry, I'm going to go through the process practically, practically, I'm going to do it practically so that you get to understand how this thing actually works, okay? So what we'll do is this, from the, um, from the homepage, from the interface, here, what to we'll do is this, you come and you click on this, wallet you click on your wallet okay or let's just go straight directly and click on p2p trade okay we're going to be using p2p trade to transfer this money we have in our bank account okay in our OKS wallet to our bank account so we're going to click on p2p trade here okay so when you click on p2p trade it's going to load and it's going to take it to the interface of um the p2p okay so you can see up here we have buy and here we have sell now remember we are going to be selling our usdt so that we can get the money paid into our nigerian bank account so we are going to click on sell here okay when we come when we come up here you see there are a whole lot of people that says okay we are willing to buy your usdt okay so that we can pay the money into your nigerian bank account that is what all these people here are saying okay so we're going to go down what we're going to say we'll let's just sell like um I have about $300 worth of uh, USDT, but we're going to sell like, let's say like 10K, because I'm just going to be using this as just like a case study here. Okay, so we're going to be selling like 10K worth of, um, 10K worth of USDT here, okay? So you see this guy is willing to buy from 10K upward, okay? Um, what you need to watch out is, you look at this other size, you see this other size, it determines how much this person is willing to buy. You can see this one says he's willing to buy from 15,000 upward to 1 million naira. This one says he's willing to buy from 100k to 24 million naira. So we, because we want to sell just like 10k, we are going to be using this guy here, okay? So we're going to click on here, okay? When we click on it, it's going to bring us to this interface. So let's just say um, I'm not going to be selling all of the 300 USDT I have here. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to be selling like, uh, let's say like uh, 20. I'll be selling like 20 USDT. Okay. Now, I'll be selling 20 USDT and um, at the rate of, at the rate of uh, 604 Naira. And the guy will be sending this money. You can see he's going to be sending 12,095 Naira into my bank account. That is the amount of money is going to be sending into my bank account. Okay, so what we'll do is let's go ahead and sell to this guy so that he's going to credit our bank account. We'll click on sell USDT. Now remember we are selling USDT, but if yours is BTC, um, uh, BNB, Ethereum, whatever it is, it's the same process you are going to go through. Okay, so um, for me to complete this transaction, I will need to go to uh, my uh, Google Authenticator so that I'll be able to fulfill uh, this uh, transaction. Okay, let me get to my Google Authenticator, please. Right. 
okay so after getting my code from my google authenticator i'm going to put it here and i'm going to sell now you can see that this guy is going to pay the money into my bank account because my bank account is here already right you can see my bank account is here already i've already inserted my bank account so it's going to pay the money directly into my bank account now um what we are going to do is this from the beginning if you've not added your bank account okay i'm going to show you how to add your bank account but i assume you now know how to add your bank account before now so because i've added my own bank account the guy is going to pay the money into my bank account okay so i'm going to click on sell my usdt so it's going to credit my bank account okay so i'm now waiting for him to send the money to my bank account okay i'm doing this practically so that you understand exactly how this thing is done okay so don't worry even if you don't have a bank account already um attached to your accounts on okay so i'm going to show you how you're going to add your bank account okay so i uh, just watch this video to the end so that you'll be able to see how to add your bank account so that the buyer of your coin your crypto will be able to pay you okay so we're just going to uh, wait for this guy to pay okay so as soon as he pays um okay is going to release this 20 usdt uh, that i've decided to sell to him okay uh so in this case you just need to come up here and see he say you see okay says, there is nothing you need to do now the order is pending for buyer's payment meaning that all you just need to do is to wait for the buyer to pay the money into your bank account okay so that as soon as you receive the money in your bank account you can then go ahead and release uh, your crypto to this person now there's something i want you to understand you have no fear whatsoever about this transaction because there's an escrow already on this transaction meaning that okay is already holding on to this guy's uh crypto already holding on to his uh usdt already so he cannot run away with your money so you have no fear whatsoever in regards to that okay all you just need to do is just to hold on for him to pay you okay and um you get uh, your money paid into your bank account okay and you release the crypto to him okay so this is just exactly how you can get um withdraw money from OKS directly into your bank account okay okay um you can see um uh, the buyer says he has paid the money into uh, my bank account okay so what we need to do now is for us to go confirm that truly the money has been paid into our bank account okay because in this case you don't just um assume that truly the the person has paid into your uh, your bank account okay you have to confirm that like, as you can see here you see buyer has marked the order as paid okay is telling you say please check your accounts before releasing the crypto okay mm -hmm. so now let's go to a bank account and i'm going to check or confirm that truly really he or he has released he has uh, actually paid the money into my bank accounts okay uh, so let me quickly check uh, my bank account okay so guys i just logged into my account and um, truly i discovered that uh, the buyer has actually paid for the crypto so as you can see this is the money here okay let's go to my transaction okay you can see this is the money he paid 12,095 naira okay you can confirm here the, the amount here again this is 12,095 naira so the buyer has actually paid so that is how you get your money into your bank account that is how you transfer your money from your OKS wallet to your bank account okay that is the easiest way. So what the next you need to do is just to go to OKS and release the crypto. You just click on release crypto here. Okay, you will click on release crypto and you say yes, you've received the money. Okay, you click here to say yes, you've received the, the money into your bank accounts. Okay, so you click on confirm here. You click on confirm. You click on confirm and you see uh, the crypto has been released to the person uh, that actually... Uh, but bought it from you okay so guys that's just the simple way um of how to transfer your money from okes to your bank account in nigeria i want to believe that you actually got value from this video now if you got value from this video i want you to please remember to like this video okay please like the video and also remember to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that when i post another video you'll be 
first to get to see it, okay? I really appreciate you taking your time to watch this video to the end. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.